Arcade Heroes. At IAPA 2018, Eunice introduced a new soccer game to the arcade market called Fantasy Soccer. And I have a video of that on my channel that you can see if you uh, do a search on that name. But here at IAPA 2019, we had a new version of the game, a two-player cabinet instead of the four-player one. Now, the way that the software works is pretty much the same thing. Uh, just they have updated that and polished things up so that the frame rate is locked in at 60 frames a second instead of 30 with some dips that it had previously. The animations also seem to have been improved and cleaned up a little bit and so overall it's a nicer solid game from what I played. Just don't really have any complaints on, on how it all went down. Of course if you're really looking for a deep soccer experience then well there's console soccer games for that like FIFA. But, uh, this is arcadified so soccer, so it's not going to be 90-minute matches, it's not going to have penalty kicks, it's not going to have yellow cards and red cards and all that jazz. It's just trying to get the ball into the goal. Now, it does have some things to it that's more than just running back and forth, of course. It uh, has a power meter, or, or like a fatigue meter, so you can push a button to run kind of as you see there there's smoke that appears from underneath the players and you also build up a meter to do a super kick sort of thing as you can see my player there is on fire now but uh, they don't have Tim Kittrow from NBA Jam saying he's on fire or anything like that <laughs> unfortunately but uh, I think I'll show here in a second what that looks like yeah so run over here and then you kick the ball on the actual cabinet and then it will do that and so that's the unique thing about this game as well well sort of unique it's actually based on the old Namco world kicks from 2000 2001 and so they kind of copied the control scheme from there but it's something that was only done in one other game and it hasn't been done in a long time and so as you can see here it has a very large analog joystick, and then you kick a real soccer ball that's attached to the base of the cabinet. And so the uh, quality on that, I guess it depends on the soccer balls used. I'm not 100% sure how you attach or replace them, but it seemed to be holding up fine. And, of course, you don't want open-toed shoes if you play this game, and it even says so on the control panel to be using only closed shoes for that. But you play... Uh, two games across uh, these halves, and uh, I can't recall the exact time on them, something like 45 seconds, I think it was, maybe 30, it seemed longer than 30 seconds at least, and so uh, yeah, just play some soccer using a bunch of generic international ch teams, it doesn't have any licensed players or licensed teams, anything like that, but again, for most people, I think they won't really care if they like soccer and come across this at the arcade, then they play it regardless. I know at my own arcade, uh, where I do have some older soccer games, like I have a foosball table, and I also have the old uh, Super Sidekicks 4 on Neo Geo, uh, both of those do just fine, and so I'm sure something like this would also do just fine. But uh, this game is available now, and it's also available in a four-player model. It can link together, but to be honest, I don't know why you'd want to link two two-player units together. It'd make more sense economically and space-wise to just get a single four-player one. But the four-player one does have a couple of extra bells and whistles. It has a camera uh, to show all the players' uh, faces like live avatars, and it also has a second marquee monitor. Uh, so this lacks those features to reduce the cost a little bit, but it's no biggie. It doesn't change the core way that the game plays. And then also when the game is over, it shows you your heart rate index as to uh, how many calories you burnt, sort of. Uh, I'll show that here in a second. Also show you the MVP, how many shots and assists and tackles they took. Yeah, there we go, the help index. But that's Fantasy Soccer. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.